Well, hi, everybody. My name is Ron Rogers, and I was shocked, shocked that the Senate committee rejected raising the pilot age to 77. I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm 73, and I'd get to fly another four years. Of course, by then, they would probably raise it to what a lot of people are pushing for, which is found dead in the bunk. Because, you know, I mean, that's very convenient. Airports have uh, emergency facilities. They just move the body out of the bunk, and you're done with it. It's very simple. But there are a lot of safety reasons why we should, pilots, in general, should continue flying to the age 77. Now, I'll mention the very first one, it's safety. Safety is the thing, because there's a lot of older pilots who have retired, and they're no longer able to support their three or four ex-wives. And you know how dangerous it is not to give your three or four ex-wives alimony? That is extremely dangerous. And the other thing, just for my own aspect, As since I have retired, I am so darn busy. I need to go back to work just to be able to relax because it used to be that, uh, you know, the wife would say, Honey, you need to clean up the garage. And I, gosh, honey, I'd love to, but I'm on my way to Hong Kong for four days. And, you know, it's it's just horrendous work, and I'll be there at the bar having a, a few beers and singing along with the uh, the group there in Hong Kong at the Queen's uh, Tavern or whatever. Or, you know, wherever we go, we'll have a few drinks, lay on the beach at Maui. You know, I mean, it's hard work. And I would love to clean that garage or fix something, but I just have to go. And now I have no excuse. I have to be home all the time. I can't get out of cleaning stuff, although I do. But it, it it's much harder. And the other thing is, these pilots nowadays, these youngsters, they make absolutely obscene income, especially the um, the senior ones. And if I was making that money, I would be able to just contribute to the local economy and everything would be so glad. Everybody would be so happy that I was doing that. Now, um, you know, I I noticed that, you know, as I was retire, uh, getting near the old retirement age of 65, that my fellow pilots were so eager to get me out of this seat, you know, helping me out. It's it's very good. They would they would say, when are you going to get out of that seat? And I would think, you know, they're thinking my it's time for my break, you know, and stuff like that. And the other thing is, I don't know if you've looked at the walker technology lately, you know, the little walker things, but those things fold up. So you just get up out of the seat. I'm sure that the other pilots would be helpful. They'd get you out of the seat. You'd unfold that walker. You'd walk back to the crew rest area. You'd get in the bunk there and you just fold it on up. It would be just wonderful, you know. And if they needed anything, they would just give you a call. And the other thing that this would really help, there's technological reasons for keeping older pilots in the seat. Because, okay, you're in a long cruise section and the guy dies. Okay. Well, the other pilot is flying single pilot because I know all all the uh, you know the CEOs they want to reduce it to single pilot, and this would give data that you know how many hours would the other pilot be flying before he realized that the captain was dead. You know, look at the data you would get out of that. So there are a lot, a lot of advantages to doing that. Now, one thing I'd like to mention, there's, okay, you guys going to bring up, yeah, the international rules, you can't fly into international stations if you're over 65. Well, poo poo. Okay, here's the deal. Okay, you're going to fly internationally. Well, okay, you see this? I use, I'm a platinum blonde now. I used to be a real blonde, actually. And, uh, you know, one time I went to the uh, my FAA medic- medical and the uh, the nurse there said, what uh, color did your hair used to be? Because I was still putting blonde. I finally gotten out that I put gray. But what you do, okay, is you dye your hair dark. You know, it used to be nice that captains had gray hair. Now, now you dye it black. You know, you dye it something else. And you just don't tell them you're over 65. You know, nobody ever, when I came in there, asked my age. So you just get away with it that way. You just don't tell them that you happen to be older. And it's piece of cake, okay? Absolute piece of cake. And I know some of you young whippersnappers out there want to come in and be airline pilots, but wouldn't you rather have as old coots, I mean, experience people uh, actually be airline pilots and you just stay home and, and play with your video games and stuff like that. And, you know, okay, it's it's not so bad being a dinosaur except for the shorthands. It's kind of hard to reach the controls. But, you know, anyway, most dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. And I'll tell you right now, in, in my opinion, I don't look a day over 30 uh, 
million years. But anyway, I think without question, the retirement age should be raised to 77. Uh, what? 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 67. Oh. Oh. Never mind. All right. So I'm retired. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. I'd hate to actually have to go back and work for a living again. So you young whippersnappers, you just do a good job out there. We're depending on you as pass riders. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.